Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux lsof command is used to list open files. So this is basically any file handle, including sockets. So you can view actual open files, you can view open ports like TCP or UDP ports, and you can list uh, Unix sockets. So it'll show you all that stuff. Now by default, you can say lsof, and it just lists everything right here, right? So um, bring over, and another thing I should point out before I forget, that you're gonna wanna run this as root most of the time if you can. You'll need root to view everything. If you don't have root access, you won't be able to view everything and you'll be limited. You won't be able to see every process of accessing every file on the system, so you won't have a complete view of things. So any case, um, I'm gonna move this other terminal here and I'm gonna be switching between these terminals. I have one that's zoomed in so you can read the text a little bit more easily in this video, but I have another terminal over here so you can see like all of the information formatted in a, in a nice way. So LSOF, listing everything. This is um, a little bit better formatting but because it's zoomed out a bit more. Now let's view the head of this, H-E-A-D. And all right, so just at the top of the output, right? You can see the command, the PID, um, the TID, task command, user, um, yeah, the file descriptor type, you can see like memory, txt, and so on. Um, you can also see the type, whether it's a directory, a regular file, and so on. You can see the device, um, and node name, and the node, the name of the file, and so on, right? Now, <clears throat> let's see here. So moving on from this, you can also specify a particular a particular file name, right? So you can say, I'm going to copy a file here. You can say lsof-t, or, or rather um, save that for the next command. So lsof in the file name. And this will list all processes that have that current file open. So move this other terminal over here, lsof, and see, see everything that has this, this open, right? So all of these all of these processes are accessing this one file and it's a shared library so a lot of stuff on the system needs to use that so a lot of running processes actually need to access that file so next thing you can do you can use a dash t to show only the pids so dash t will show only the pids of the processes that have this file open so here we have a list of pids and that's a great feature if you want to feed this into a script or something so um yeah that that's that's one use case for that if you're coming up with a report or feeding this into a script or, or anything like that. So the next thing I want to show you is um, lsof-c nginx. You can specify a command or a process that you want to search for what, what if you want to search for what files are open by that. So on this host, for example, I have the nginx web server running. So let's see all of the, everything that's opened by nginx. So let's actually use that command. So we see it here. Now I'm actually gonna move this over, lsof um, dash c nginx, and now I'm gonna scroll through this and show you a few things. Now here you, you you'll see um, we ac it actually shows TCP ports, so you can see you know IPv4 and IPv6 right here. Um, you see TCP port 80, it's it's listed by name as HTTP. You see it's listening on both of those. Um, one for IPv4, one for IPv6. You can see some Unix sockets it's listening on, and you can see it is. Um, you can see it actually has some log files. These are actual files as open, so it has some log files open. It has um, it has some directories open, and it has the actual binary for nginx opened, which is not surprising. It has some I believe these are like memory map to files or something, but these are like, um, these are shared libraries that a lot of processes would need. So uh, presumably the nginx binary needs all of these uh, shared libraries, right? So that's a bunch of the stuff that this is access, that those are the types of things that a process might be accessing. So next thing I'd show you is um, how you can search by users. So all files opened by a specific user. So you can say, instead of lsof-c, you can say lsof-u specify username like user1 and since this is a desktop system and user1 is using the desktop um, this is what I'm logged in as it will show you a ton of files for this user so a ton of this stuff is used for all sorts of things but a lot of it is used just to these are desktop related things so yeah a ton of shared libraries and so on and so forth it shows you a ton of stuff for this 
this uh, desktop system to run to run the GNOME desktop and everything else. So, any case, that's how you would check by user. So, any if you want to see all files that are being accessed by a specific user, dash use the dash u option. Now, let's say if you want to search for everything being accessed by a specific PID. All right, so I'm gonna, just going to grab a, a good example first. So, let's just grab nginx, right? So, oops, rep nginx. So let's just grab one of these Nginx processes and let, let's grab the one owned by root. So let's just grab this PID right here and switch over to this other terminal. And we're, we're gonna run, let's just clear this out and let's say, um, let's say lsof-p for PID and paste the PID in here. So lsof-p and the PID, and this will show everything that's open by this specific PID. So you, you have, um, so this PID, um, PID 17.123 is, um, is Nginx, and yeah, you can see everything that this particular one is has open. So, and you remember before I searched for just the command Nginx, and there was a lot more. That's because there's three Nginx um, processes running on this system. I just picked one of them to look at. So you, you'll see a little bit less. You'll still see the ports, the ports and the, the files that it's accessing. Um, some Unix sockets, stuff like that. So, in any case, that's how you'd filter by a specific PID. Now, um, moving along here, you can also list open files in a directory. So, I'm going to switch back to this other terminal yet again, clear this out, and let's say LSOF plus capital D and Etsy. So, list open files in a directory. So, any, any files in the Etsy directory that are open, we're going to list them. And there we go. So not as many as I would have thought, but we have um, apparently the new group command, which I did not realize was still running, is accessing the G shadow file. And we have a few other things. Um, but yeah, just a few things accessing stuff within the Etsy file system. So that's kind of interesting. Now you'll see a whole lot more if you do like say the root file system. And that that's taking a little while. And there we go, that's basically everything. And that was a little bit slower than just telling it to list everything. But um, let's say just USR. And there you go, so different results. So now the, the more interesting thing you can do with this is um, listing which ports are in use. So you, you can say LSOF-I TCP 80. TCP port 80. So dash I will, um, th this is this is going to allow you to, to view network ports and you can specify TCP port 80. And let's see what's uh, listening here. So we have got, let me just move this thing out of the way real quick. So you can see a bunch of processes accessing that are listening on port 80. Now <clears throat> let's try another port. Let's try 631. 631, so I know this is CUPS, the printing daemon. So this is also listening on that port. No, it shows you IPv6 and IPv4. <clears throat> now you can also do, instead of TCP, you can specify UDP. And I know there's a different related, another CUPS related daemon listening on UDP port 631. So it's um, UDP and TCP for 630, port 631. So we can list this out. So yeah, so cups brow, and I believe that's cups browser or something like that. And then regular cups D is on, is on TCP, and this one is on UDP, right? So another thing you can do, you you could just specify, you can leave out whether or not it's TCP or UDP, and show both of them, right? So you now see three processes, um, one IPv6 TCP, IPv4 TCP, and IPv4 UDP. So um, another thing you can do, you can specify um, IPv4, IPv6, it, um, you know, depending on whether or not you care. So for example, if you can say for TCP, and this is only going to show you IPv4 TCP for this port, and you can also specify IPv6, and you can specify it's the same process, but it's also listening on yeah, IPv6. 
So let's see what else do we want to show you. So you can say anything on either interface. Oh yes, yeah, so you can, you can specify. Um, you can specify anything accessing a certain interface. So let's just check the IPs first. So IP A. All right, I like the formatting of this a little bit better. So all right, let's take this IP address and let's just check what TCP processes are connected to this interface. So LSOF dash I TCP at and you can specify the IP address. And you could also specify local host. So you can see here we have IPP or, or CUPS. So you can you have CUPS D listening on the local host. And you have um, yeah you, you have nothing apparently according to this listening on this specific IP address. So that's this right here. Now you might have noticed that we have Nginx running and you don't see it when we list the IP address. So this is the uh, this is the main IP address for this host. This is the actual IP, not local host. So you may have noticed that. Nginx isn't showing up for that even though it's listening on that. So that's because Nginx is actually set to listen to any IP address. So any interfaces on this, it's not just pinned to that one interface, it's any interface on the host. So if you replace this with 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and hit enter, you're going to see a few, you're going to see actually a few other things, SSHD and Nginx and CUPS. So those three processes, actually five processes, but uh, three of them are for the same service. Um, you'll see all of those are actually listening on, they're, they're all pinned to basically all interfaces. They're listening on every interface. So they're, they're not specifically pinned to this IP address. So 10, 11, yeah. and I, I basically copy pasted that thing. So I don't believe I typoed it or anything, but in any case, if you, if you type 0000, you're going to get all of these things, right? So uh, just keep that in mind if you just want to check this based on interface. Um, usually you won't be checking based on interface and you're just going to check based on port. But if for whatever reason you have like multiple interfaces on a system or something like that, just be, be uh, aware of this behavior. And that is basically everything I wanted to show you for the LSOF command. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.